Uselu Secondary School in Benin is few meters away from a local government secretariat in Benin City. As a school in the heart of the city, one would have expected it to be one of the best equipped in terms of learning infrastructure. Some of the students during learning hours sat on makeshift chairs and windows to learn. The poor state of some of the buildings and learning condition gives cause for concern. Of the eight buildings in Uselu Secondary School, five are in a very deplorable condition with leaking roofs, broken doors, floors, and windows, as well as absence of chairs and desks. We need chairs! We need chairs! Some residents say the school building in the heart of Benin City is an eyesore. It's the only schools in the uh, vicinity they can see along the road that they should be met in. Some are sitting at the window and while they are learning. As I was coming, immediately I saw the children. As I saw the crowd in the class, I felt pity. This chair that we are sitting so we will find block to put it so that a firm a place to manage. We will be inside the class. We will be falling. The rain will be beating us. Uh, when uh, they told us that we will enter this class, we thought there will be chairs. So when we entered the class, it was only uh, sand everywhere. There's no cement, nothing, nothing, no chairs. So then I said that everybody should do their own chairs. People were not doing their own. I did my own. The government of Edo State says it is aware of some few schools that need urgent rehabilitation. The State Commissioner for Education, Dr. Joanne Salviawi, says the governor of Edo State, Mr. Godwin Obaseki, inherited roles in the education sector and has been reforming the system in both welfare of staff and learning tools. When we started this um, infrastructural reform in 2017, more than 50% of kids in our primary schools were sitting on the floor. And we have significantly closed that gap. The wage bill for salary alone is over 2 billion naira every month. That's a significant commitment by government. The watch over, it is the responsibility of government to provide modern buildings, teaching and learning materials for students. This is what the students of Uselu Secondary School in Benin City lack at the moment. They are hoping that the government will live up to its responsibility of providing conducive learning environment for them. From Uselu Secondary School in a local government area of Edo State, Best Mbire reporting.